Thank you, Senator Hatch. Senator Coons. Thank you, Chairman Lee. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, and I'd like to welcome each of the nominees, uh, their families, their friends, to the United States Senate and congratulate them uh, on their nominations. Uh, I know that all of you have been waiting for months uh, for your nomination to be considered by this committee. I regret that the Judiciary Committee has not convened for a nominations hearing since January. So I thank you for your patience. And I would appreciate just a few moments of patience, indulgence, if I might, from my colleagues who I know are eager to introduce nominees from their home states. Uh, I look forward to hearing uh, from the senators and from all the nominees today, but I would be remiss if I didn't take this opportunity to briefly underscore the crisis that continues to face our federal judiciary. There are today 79 vacancies in our federal district courts, of which 28 are designated as judicial emergencies. This is alarming, it is unacceptable, and it is not how this committee has operated in the past, uh, in particular even under the Bush administration. Um, the Senate had reduced vacancies uh, to 46 at the same point in the presidency of George W. Bush, confirming 68 judges in the last two years of his administration. More than a year into this new Congress, uh, Republican leadership has allowed only 17 judges to be confirmed. Last year bears special distinction. The Senate matched a record for confirming the fewest judicial nominees in a half century, 11 for the entire year. There will be 13 more vacancies by the end of this year. In other words, if we move at the same rate as we did last year, there will be more vacancies at the end of this year than at the beginning. So although I am very pleased, Mr. Chairman, that we are here today to make progress, I consider the consideration of five district court nominees uh, insufficient for us to address the significant and ongoing uh, challenges. Uh, there are seven nominees uh, that are to the U.S. Court of Appeals who are waiting, including one to my home, Third Circuit, 24 judicial nominees overall awaiting a hearing. Uh, and there is, of course, the vacancy for the United States Supreme Court. I call on all of my colleagues who have not yet met with Chief Judge Garland uh, to grant that courtesy. Uh, and it is my hope that the Senate's Republican leadership will agree to proceed with hearings and a vote so that the American people can understand uh, the capabilities, qualifications, and views of Chief Judge Garland. Uh, it's also critical for everyone to realize that uh, Chief Judge Garland's not the only nominee awaiting action by the Senate. There are 20 pending nominees that this committee voted out by unanimous voice vote. So here we are with 20 waiting for floor votes, many for well over a year. I regret we've reached this point in the functioning of this committee, uh, but I am grateful for this hearing today, which is a productive step in addressing the vacancy crisis facing our courts. Uh, my hope is this committee will continue to do its job and give all nominees a prompt, fair consideration and an up and down vote. Uh, I look forward to hearing from the nominees today and would like to welcome my colleagues. Thank you for your indulgence. Mr. Chairman. <laughs>